Welcome back crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and as I promised in yesterday's video, I am back today with a little unboxing and a trial run and my first thoughts about the new We Are Memory Keepers mini envelope punch board. Um, before I unbox it, I do just want to say, and I mentioned yesterday, that this thing is so adorable. It reminds me that if you bought like your American Girl doll or your 18 inch doll a crafting tool, like it is so cute and little, just like those little teeny tiny baby shoes when you go to the store and you're like, oh, so cute. So it is adorable. I cannot wait to open it up and try it out. On the back of the packaging are some ideas of what you could use the envelopes for. So let's go ahead and open it up. which might be easier said than done. So in the packaging, you of course get your envelope punch board and then there's a pamphlet with instructions. And these pictures all make it look like exactly as if you were using the larger envelope punch board. And of course, besides the punch board, it comes with the scoring tool, which again has that nice little slot to keep it safe in there. I wanna go ahead and compare this size to the original. So I'm gonna pull in the original envelope punch board and you can see here the difference, how much smaller the new one is. The original punch board gives dimensions for card size from two by three and a half all the way up to six by eight and a half. Now, if you do have the We Are Memory Keepers envelope generator app, you can make different sizes than what is shown on here. And I've used that before and it's came in super handy. So make sure you check that out if you have this. And the new mini envelope punch board makes envelopes for card size one by one up to four by four. I think I'm going to go ahead and try, you know what, let's go ahead and try the one by one and then we'll do kind of one in the middle. So I'm gonna cut a two by two inch square and then let's do a four and an eighth by a four and an eighth inch square. And I'm just gonna get a scrap of something I have here on my desk. This is from my recent French themed pocket letter in card. For my smaller envelope, I'm gonna have a two inch square. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be tiny. First, we'll do the one by one inch card size. My piece of paper again is two by two, and my first score line is gonna be at one inch. Forgot to punch, so you're gonna punch and then score and then turn it. I do have to say, I do not think that this scoring tool gets right into that corner. You really have to concentrate and get it in there to make that score line. I think the old tool um, was a little bit more narrow at the tip and seemed easier to get all the way back there. So I have the, the inner corners punch. I'm gonna do the flaps and it just goes in the other side. I'll set that here for now and I'll go ahead and get my other one ready. This was a four and an eighth inch square piece of paper and I'm gonna make an envelope for a two by three card. So my first score line is gonna be at two and three eighths. Yeah, there my tool just kind of ran off into the envelope flap. I'm not digging this. pull in a piece of chipboard just so you can get a good idea of what these look like before I make them into envelopes and you can see all of the corners the inside and the outside 
And then next, we're just going to fold these and crease them. see that is just teeny tiny I'm gonna go ahead and cut pieces of paper to be the card size that we were going for to make sure that that will fit in there I just pulled out a scrap here that I had on my work area the first one we made was for a two by three and the next one was a one inch square and I'm just making sure that these are gonna fit in there that those dimensions on the board are correct So we will try the one inch square first. Oh yeah, that fits in there. And then this one was the two by three. All right, the only way to get this card in there is you kind of have to bend it. It won't go in there. I would actually have to trim my card down which wouldn't be a huge deal unless I had already made the card completely. So it definitely fits from top to bottom. You can see you have room left up there, but from left to right, the card is the same size as the envelope. Not a huge deal. You know, most of the time I probably wouldn't use these for envelopes for an actual card. I would more use them for decorations or to store little embellishments in. If I had to make sure that it was going to fit a 2 by 3 card, I would just make my card a little bit smaller. So my overall first impressions, I definitely love now that you can make the smaller envelopes. And I know that you could make them before, but with the fact that the, the curve or the angle, the corner size, on the new board is meant for smaller envelopes versus larger ones. I really love that. And the board itself seems to be really nice and sturdy like their other products. Not too crazy about the new size of scoring tool. Again, I wish this tip were a little bit thinner, more like the original. You know, it, it's just as easy to put together. It's just as easy to punch and mostly score but I'm a little I'm a little bit sad the fact that it wouldn't have fit a two by three card after I went to all that trouble so you'd most likely have to play around with it to get it to work correctly or you'd have to cut down your card after you've made it so maybe if you're gonna make a bunch of these to fit cards you might want to do one ahead of time and make sure that the envelope actually fits but I always enjoy the we are memory keepers tools I think they're made well and it makes creating stuff like this so much easier instead of having to trace a template and hand cut it and hand figure out the score lines. So I would definitely recommend it. I would just say, you know, practice with your envelope sizes if you really have to have it specific. If you enjoyed this little unboxing and trial run and review, I hope you'll give my video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you want to stick around and hit the subscribe button below. If you're already a regular viewer or watcher, thanks again for stopping back by. I appreciate each and every one of you. As always, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye.